let's talk about changes and specifically changes within Congress. Now, I get a lot of questions from people all the time asking, are, are we going to see some major bill, something that's going to just be transcending and change the lives of the American people? And my answer is normally no, because we have the same people in office. However, things could actually change pretty soon. And I want to explain why in this video. All I ask is if you can spend just two seconds, go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. Now, the reason I'm talking about changes and massive changes, changes that would shake the landscape of Congress is because of what is actually happening over in the Senate. Now, this is something that President Biden knows a little bit about because he is part of the discussions. But let me play you a clip. Okay, In this clip, I'm going to show you something that happened earlier on this week. This is where Senator Mitch McConnell, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, the number one Republican in Congress, he pretty much just froze. I want to show you this. Look at this video right here. I'm gonna play it, and you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, I had a hard time hearing you. That's okay. What are your thoughts on running for re-election in 2026? What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh. That's right. Uh, <clears throat> Did you hear the question, it's Senator? Freezing. Running for re-election in 2026? All right, I'm sorry, you all, we're gonna need a minute. Senator, Benny. And he pretty much just freezes. Now, why does that matter? Well, the reason this matters is because of what is happening. Now, good news is uh, he's actually been medically cleared. The Capitol ph physician medically cleared him uh, after the scare. So that's good news. The problem is it it's not over. The, the problem is we still have people that are much older running things in the Senate. In the Senate, just to give you an idea, and you can comment down in the comment section below, let me know what your thought is. How old do you think the average Senator is in the US Senate? Let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll give you the answer in just a minute. But the reason why this is such a big deal is because the age keeps going up. We don't have an age limit. We don't have a term limit. Just to give you an idea, Mitch McConnell has been the longest serving uh, uh, senator, okay? They're not senator, uh, Senate majority or minority leader, okay? He's been the longest leader. That's concerning being that he's, he's up there in age, okay? Now, hopefully you commented. If not, I'll just give you the answer. The answer is 64 years old. The average senator is 64 years old. And yet they are being asked to, you know, stay in and vote on things, stay awake for one, but vote on things that they may never even see. These are the people that are, are putting these pieces of legislation on the table, voting on it, passing it, or rejecting it. They may not be alive in the next five to 10 years to see the ramifications of what they passed or rejected. That's crazy. But the good news is there's supposed to be some sort of, of change. Look at this. It says GOP senators weigh a special meeting on their leadership after Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell's freeze. Now, what is interesting about this is it doesn't take many people to actually cause uh, a change. Look at this right here. It says it takes just five Republicans to force such a sit down the most direct way to specifically discuss their future amid revived questions about the leader's health. Good news is he is back on his feet. He is talking. Um, he seems healthy. So that's the good news there. You never want to wish harm on anybody. But at the same time, what does that mean for us? Well, here's what we know. Right now, there's a renewed, uh, it's, it's really coming forward now, where we're getting this renewed push to see age limits or term limits. But the people that are pushing that are the younger generation, are the younger lawmakers. Because it's not just in the Senate, it's in the House of Representatives as well. We saw Nancy uh, Pelosi 
you know, she was the speaker for quite some time. Now we got Speaker Kevin McCarthy, but that's not the concerning part. Here's where people are very concerned. Mitch McConnell, this is not his first time freezing. This is actually his second time in multiple months. He actually showed up at the podium once with bruises all over his face. Uh, we've seen uh, other leaders, uh, you know, their health is a concern. For example, Dianne Feinstein, uh, you know, she, her health is, is shot. We are also seeing President Biden. He is of the age where he falls down a little bit. We've seen some bruises on him as well. We've also seen him not completely freeze at the podium, but he has done things like, you know, say, say words that he's not supposed to be reading from his teleprompter. He forgets where he's going. He, 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 sometimes he has no clue where he's supposed to be walking. You know, it, it, it's turning into an issue. And so those are just a few of the people that, you know, we're concerned about. But I, I want to bring something else to your attention. Because what happens if he can't fulfill his duty? I'm speaking of uh, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, not any of the other two. Well, if somebody else is going to step in, okay? The, the governor of Kentucky, because that's where Senator Mitch McConnell's from, he would choose the replacement. However, it doesn't mean he chooses the replacement as Senate Minority Leader. This is where we would see other things going on in the Senate. This is where that would come into place. But as of right now, there's three main people that would fill this seat. Number one is the number two uh, Republican, Senate Republican, that is Senator John Thune. He's the Senator uh, Senate Republican out of South Dakota. We also have uh, Senate Republican um, John Corrin. He's out of Texas. And then there's another um, another one, John, was it John Barrasso, I believe, out of Wyoming. They're, they're both three Johns. Now, Senator John Thune, he is the number two. Chances are he would be the one that would take over the Senate Minority Leader spot. However, this is where things get interesting. What would happen? What would happen in the Senate? Well, the, the goal of the, and right now, Senator John Thune, he is actually the, the Senate, he's won the, the whips, okay? So his goal is to kind of whip everybody into shape, get all the Senate Republicans on board, and they vote as one. He, that's the goal. Well, what happens if he moves away from that position and now he's the Senate Minority Leader? Well, he already has a lot of pull. But just like when, uh, when uh, Republican uh, Speaker Kevin McCarthy won the speakership, the one thing that people were concerned about was he was going to come out very strong and try to make his mark early on. The problem is if Senator um, John Thune were to take over, now it's kind of his obligation to make a stand, prove that he should be there. So this is where many people are worried. Many experts are extremely concerned about Senator Mitch McConnell because he's been a long-standing senator. He's been the leader for many years, many terms. Well, the problem is if somebody new comes in and tries to make their mark early on in a, in a time where the economy is still, you know, pretty delicate. We still have inflation. We still have high rates. We don't know what's going to happen with, you know, climate. We don't know what's going to happen with the, the Democratic agenda versus the Republican agenda. We have no clue. But if somebody comes out and they want to make a stand, that's going to be the major problem. So just wanted to fill you in on what's going on there. But as always, as we get more information, I promise I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next one.